So today we're going to take a look at Gaussian elimination or Gauss Jordan elimination to solve a system of linear equations. So 2x minus 2y minus 2z equals minus 6, minus 2x plus 6y plus z equals 13, and 4x plus 4y minus 3z equals 5. So Gaussian elimination will allow us to solve for x, y, and z for the, these three equations. So the first step is simply to turn these three equations into augmented matrix form. So to do that, we take the coefficients of x, y, and z, and we rewrite it as so. 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 6, minus 2, 6, 1, and 13, and then 4, 4, minus 3, and 5. So I'm simply just rewriting the three equations into this matrix form. Now what we want to do next is the 3 by 3 matrix here. We want to manipulate these numbers in such a way that we end up with something that looks like this. Okay, so these crosses are donating numbers. Now they could be any numbers at this stage. What we want to achieve is that we want a 0 here, a 0 here, and a 0 here. Now these are the numbers that we have. And I'm just going to show you a method of achieving this. So simply, I've rewrote the matrix. So I have it written out and I'm going to label it row 1, row 2 and row 3. The Gaussian elimination allows us to change the rows. So if we wanted, we could switch the rows. So row 1 and row 2 could switch places. So we could change them round or we could add or we could subtract. So if we added row 1 and row 2 together, we would have 2 plus minus 2, which would be 0, minus 2 plus 6, which would be 4, minus 2 plus 1, which minus 1, 13 plus minus 6, which is 7. So as you can see, by adding and subtracting, we get a new row. So row 1 is going to remain unchanged. So we can write 2, minus 2, minus 2, and minus 6. But because we want a 0 here, we're going to change row 2. So row 2 now becomes row 2 plus row 1. And I'll show you why that is. So if we add row 2 and row 1 together, row 1 and row 2, so we add these two together first, 2 plus minus 2 gives us 0. So that's the first 0 that we're looking for. And then we continue along, adding row 1 and row 2. 6 plus minus 2 will give us 4. 1 plus minus 2 is minus 1. And 13 plus minus 6 gives us 7. And then we haven't changed row 3 as of yet. So we can rewrite 4, 4, minus 3, and 5. So all we've done is we've changed row 2. So we have row 1. And row 3 and we now have a new row 2. So the next step we want to have this digit here a 0. So row 1 will remain unchanged so we can write 2 minus 2 minus 2 and minus 6. Row 2 will remain unchanged but remember we did change row 2 so we use the new row 2 which is 0, 4, minus 1 and 7. Now this time what we're going to do with row 3 is we're going to change it. Row 3 is now going to become row 3 minus 2 times row 1. So the new row 3 will be composed of row 3 minus 2 times row 1. So row 3 was 4 minus 2 times row 1. So it's 4 minus 2 times 2, which is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. We move to the next one, which is 4. 4 minus 2 times minus 2. So it's 4 plus 4, which gives us 8. And then minus 3, minus 2, times row 1, so minus 3, minus 2, times minus 2, will give us 1. 
Moving on to the next one, we have 5. So 5 minus 2 times row 1. Row 1 is minus 6. So 5 minus 2 times minus 6. 5 plus 12, giving us 17. So we just take it nice and slowly and we work systematically to have 0, 0. Now what we want to achieve is a 0 here, where we have an 8. So, just get another bit of paper and we're simply continuing down. We're not changing row 1 and we're not changing row 2. So row 1 and row 2 remain unchanged. So we have 2, minus 2, minus 2 and minus 6. And we have 0, 4, minus 1 and 7. So row 1 and row 2 are unchanged. It's just copying from above. But row 3, in this occasion, is changing. So we're going to have row 3 minus 2 times row 2. So we go up. We have row 3, which is 0, minus 2 times row 2. So 0 minus 2 times 0, which is simply 0. We have 8 which is row 3, so we have here, minus 2 times row 2, 8 minus 2 times 4, 8 minus 8 gives us 0. So we now have achieved what we wanted. We want these three zeros. This triangle here is now three zeros. So moving on to finish this off, row 3 minus 2 times row 2, so 1 minus 2 times minus 2 is 1 plus 2, which gives us 3. And then we have 17 minus 2 times row 2. 2 times 7 would be 14. 17 minus 14 would give us 3. So there we go. We now have row 1, row 2 and row 3. And we have it in the format that we're looking for. So what we can do now is we can back substitute. So we can rewrite these three equations which have been manipulated to give us the three zeros on the bottom left. So 2x minus 2y minus 2z equals minus 6. We have 0, so we move on to the next one. 4y minus z gives us 7. And then we don't have an x, we don't have a y, we go straight to z. 3z equals 3. Now we can work this out, we can solve this now, because we know that 3z equals 3. So if 3z equals 3, then z simply equals 1. So now we know z, we move up to the next equation, and we know 4y minus z gives us 7. So 4 times y minus 1 gives us 7. Therefore, 4y gives us 8, so y gives us 2. So we now know z and we now know y. So again, just take this up. So we know z and we know y. And we know that 2x minus 2y minus 2z gives us minus 6. So if we plug in y and plug in z, we can find x. So 2x minus 2 times 2 minus 2 times 1 equals minus 6. So 2x minus 4 minus 2 equals minus 6. 2x, therefore, minus 4 minus 2. Add 6 onto both sides gives us 0, therefore x simply equals 0. So we now know x equals 0, y equals 2, z equals 1. And we can re rewrite this as 0, 2, 1. And that's us found the solution to the original three linear equations. Now what we can do, we can actually plug this in so that we can check our answer. So if we go back to the start,
we go to 2x minus 2y minus 2z equals minus 6 minus 2x plus 6y plus z equals 13 and 4x plus 4y minus 3z equals 5 so if we re rewrite this 2x minus 2y minus 2z equals minus 6 minus 2x plus 6y plus z equals 13 and 4x plus 4y minus 3z equals 5. So we've already found out x equals 0, y equals 2 and z equals 1. So to prove this we simply plug 0, 2 and 1 into these three equations. So 2 times 0 minus 2 times 2 minus 2 times 1. So we have 2 times 0, which is 0, minus 2 times 2 gives us minus 4, minus 2 times 1, minus 4 minus 2, which gives us minus 6, minus 6 and minus 6. So first equation is correct. The second equation, minus 2x plus 6y plus z equals 13. Again, plug 0, 2 and 1. 0 times minus 2 is 0, plus 6 times 2 plus 1. Because 6 times 2 is 12, plus the 1 equals 13. There we go, 13, 13. And we've got one last equation to check. We have 4x plus 4y minus 3z equals 5. 0, 2 and 1, 4 times 0 plus 4 times 2 minus 3 times 1, which gives us 0 plus 4 times 2 is 8, minus 3 times 1 is 3, 8 minus 3 gives us 5. And there we go, 5 and 5 here. So that's us, we've got our answer, 0, 2 and 1, and we've proven at the original three linear equations and there you go. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial.